I'm going to let Lee get settled in his chair there. Ethan, with three, two, one. Okay, Lee, thank you. Our audio guy was hustling back. We're setting up for Lovers and Mad Men. That's not a play or anything. It's a musical it's a group. great band from Albuquerque. I'm, they have a great, really great sound, and it's two performers. And I know that they do a lot of collaborative work with other players, but, yeah, these... He's I'm the only one in the studio who's never heard him. Everybody else is going. You, you I'm looking heard? forward to it, too. Yeah, me too. Hey, Howie, how are you? I'm great. How are you? Hi, Howie. Thank you. Thanks Howie Keibel, community manager for Yelp. You're in Albuquerque. Hello. Hi. Well, uh, welcome back. We haven't seen you. You've been on a hiatus. Everything good? Yeah, everything's great. What a cool new set. Nice. Yeah. Thank yeah it looks you. great in here. And um, it's it's been uh, just a lot of fun uh, preparing for an, uh, another segment with you guys. You're doing the Uber Local in Albuquerque, and I just love that. Thank you. Uber Uber Loco. Loco. <laughs> We're Loco Loco. We are Uber Loco on this show all the time. Uh, this is gardening, but uh, a very specialty area. Absolutely. You know, I set out to do a local gardening show because gardening in Albuquerque, as you had mentioned earlier, is such a challenge. You can't go to big box stores and, uh, and uh, big box garden centers and get what you need here. You really have to go to the local shops that are going to know what we deal with as local right. gardeners. Next thing I knew, I was walking, in, I was walking into a Japanese uh, uh, garden store called uh, Hanayagi. Um, which just kind of took my breath away, and uh, I loved what the, what they're do, what they're doing there. And I wanted to feature a few of the things that are, are, are happening that a lot of locals here may not know um, are going on. So that's such great. a great shop. I've actually been in there before, and they it's all about Ikebana, mm -hmm. the uh, that beautiful. It's almost like sculpture with plants. They they create the Japanese have a way of creating the most beautiful, simplistic art out of everything. Absolutely. Everything they do. And so at this shop, you can really kind of learn about that art form a little bit. You can make your own ponds and your own fountains. And yeah, it's a really unique shop. Yeah, yeah. I'm, they even uh, have, uh, if you're, I, I love origami. Uh -huh. I'm totally obsessed with origami. They even have the most beautiful origami paper. They have really interesting products from Japan. See, you just did uh, my job for me. There you so go. You, you've, you've <laughs> let everyone know. Um, this comes in at the same time uh, that it just happens that this week Yelp launched in Japan. So um, I wanted to, to let everyone know that. And, um, and then it was just perfect. Uh, what you were talking about with Ikebana is something that a lot of people don't know about. But as you said, it's sort of a uh, it, well, it, it's an art. It's an organic art, uh, art with organic materials. Um, and the owner of the shop, uh, Mary Burnett de Gomez, uh, is a 35-year instructor of Ikebana. She's the only one in Albuquerque. Um, and uh, just to give people some idea of what Ikebana looks like, um, I don't know if we can zoom in on this guy. OK. So here's one um, with with sort of a tree floral setup. See how there you go. simple they are? And they just show one flower wow. just so perfectly. S it's just beautiful. Gorgeous so work. symmetrical. Yeah, amazing. And they do these shows, these Ikebana shows at the at the, Biotanic, the Botanical Gardens here in Albuquerque. And to see these sculptures up close. I was taking pictures because I, I've never seen flowers presented in this manner before. Mm -hmm. And I tried to recreate it. Maybe I should call Marianne and get a lesson, see? <laughs> well, at Hane, Haneyagi, yes, she does give lessons. Um, so that's, that's one thing you can learn. This is what I saw the day that I was in there. Wow. Um, this yeah. is what she had created. Uh, and you can learn how to do this as well. So um, if, if you're interested in the art, it's really a fantastic uh, way to, uh, to sort of expand your artistic horizons. So would she make Ikebana for, like, if you special order? That's something you're going to have to ask her yeah, about. Yeah, that would be ask. really cool. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call you, Mary. Yeah, yeah. Um, and just some other things that the store has. This is, a, this is a, an original Japanese gardening, digging, and, and weeding knife. So it looks like a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weapon for all the roots in right. the ground, and in, getting in, rid of those roots. In Albuquerque, we need weapons, yeah, right? We, we do. really do. We need a battle. This is a bonsai. This is an, yes. a, an official bonsai trimming uh, tool. Um, so that's another thing you can get here. Here's a pick. Oh, I need what a fun hobby. I love right? hobbies that include lots of gear. I like that. Uh-huh. And they also have a few Japanese vegetables that you can get. Japanese cucumber. Um, Asian baby leaf uh, lettuce, 
and heirloom Chinese cucumber um, are some things that you can wow. grow in your own backyard that are specific to Japan. Um, and I guess the final thing to, to note about Mary is she is also the president of the Japan American Society for, of New Mexico. Oh. Did, did you know that this I existed? Didn't know we no, had one. I, I believe glad we are. I'm not surprised. Yes, I believe we have the 36th state, the, 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 the latest to, to set up this association, or this society. Um, it's a nonprofit that works with Japan to encourage um, greater understanding and networking between Beautiful. New Mexico and Japan. Yeah. What a one th wonderful thing to do for the weekend is check well, out this new shop and learn about another culture and then not get so frustrated because your azalea die in the backyard. Right. Yeah. Good point. Thanks for coming on again, Howie. We'll see you again next week. Huh? Yeah, sounds you great. Bet. Thank Howie you, Howie. Howie, community manager for Yelp. Always. Log on and participate in the local community of Yelp. We've got some musicians we'll coming up.